I have great pleasure in enclosing a cheque for one million two hundred and twenty-seven thousand three hundred and nine pounds eighty-seven. I mean, where did all this money come from? From the game. This is my game. You're entitled to ten percent of the money from every sale. So that's what one million two hundred and twenty-seven thousand three hundred and nine pounds and eighty-seven p looks like. I wonder how much it would cost to buy a place like that. Will there be anything else, sir? I'm not sure. What should we do this evening? Well... I could bring in the 42-inch television set, sir. I have a selection of the latest videos. Videos? Or I could clear the upstairs gallery, sir, so that Miss Claire and yourself can go rollerblading. Not right after tea. Ah. No. I could send out the other servants, sir, to give you a game of basketball. No, this evening I shall play the piano. But you can't. What? You can't play the piano. You haven't even got one. I can do what I want. I'm a millionaire. I just have to go out and buy it. And you want to buy a house? What? That was Mr. Wattis. Who? Mr. Wattis. And you want to buy a house? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh, have you spoken to your mother about this? She said I had to ask you. Did she? And I've been speaking to Mr Napier at the bank, and he says I shouldn't spend more than one-third of my capital on property. So I'm looking to buy a house in the range of four to five hundred thousand, if that's all right with you. Well, you'll um, have to give me some time to think about this one, Matt. Yes. Yes, of course. But if you could phone me on this number when you've decided. This number? Oh. The mobile? What sort of house? A big one. Big. So big that whatever you want to do, there'll be a room specially for doing it in. Snooker, computers, table tennis, <coughs> piano. You want a piano? And outside, there'll be a treehouse, an adventure assault course, a swimming pool. A pool? Definitely. What did your mum say about all this? Mum? Well, mum hasn't said much about anything recently. She is all right, isn't she? Well, Mr Wattis thinks it's the strain of her exams. He says she'll be fine when her results come in. But she doesn't mind you buying a house? Well... She won't. Not after she's seen what sort of house I'm looking for. Your solicitor told us the price range you were working from, Mr Collins. But he didn't say anything about what sort of house you were looking for. Oh, he wants a big one. Big? Yes, it has to have a lot of rooms. Well, I'm sure we can find something along those lines. Now, a couple of these are priced at just over half a million, but I'm sure we can negotiate. What about this one? Oh, wow. It's a substantial property, eight bedrooms, six bathrooms. Ugh! Six bathrooms! Yes. Is that a problem? He's not very into bathrooms. I mean, who wants six bathrooms? Yeah, strange, isn't it? Never mind. Perhaps this property would be more suitable. Oh, look at that. Not bad, is it? The garden. One of the most famous rose gardens in England, designed by Gertrude Jekyll. It has 123 different varieties. Of... He's not really into roses either, is he? Okay. Now, this is a very big house, set in its own extensive grounds with rather a splendid driveway leading up from the main gates. My cousin had a driveway like this. He used to race up and down at weekends in his go-kart. Go-kart? We don't need a licence, you see, not to drive on your own grounds. This is more the sort of house I've been looking for. Does it have a swimming pool? A pool? I'm afraid not. That's important, is it? Very important. I was hoping for a gymnasium as well. A pool and a gymnasium. But I like the go-kart. We're on the right lines with the go-kart track. OK. 
I'll see what we've got. Reynolds warned us it would take time, Matt. It's been six weeks, Claire. There hasn't even been anything I like. Well, maybe if you weren't so fussy. What? Well, can't we find a house with just most of the things in? Does it have to be all of them? Yes. That's the whole point. It has to be perfect. So it has to have a swimming pool? It has to have a swimming pool, big grounds, tennis court... Stables, snooker room, multi-gym. Mm, right. Boating lake, woodland area, indoor cinema. Indoor cinema? Well, that's what it says here. It's only small, it seats 12. Miss Reynolds? Hi. Can we go and have a look at, um... Moresby Manor? to the manor. Is this place really for sale? I know what you mean. The owner lives in Australia. She's never seen it, just told us to sell it. What do you think, Matt? Well, it's, it's not bad. Gets even better inside. I thought I'd take you around the house first and then we'd have a tour of the grounds. <laughs> wow! <laughs> The house was owned by Sir Norman Winter, who won the Victoria Cross in Italy in the Second World War, but unfortunately lost both his legs. Which is why you better have this, Matt. What does it do? The first two numbers open and close doors. I think number three is the lights and number four does the curtains. I've never really sorted out the others. You'll never get out of here alive, you know. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> According to the housekeeper, it was a bit like living with Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> if you'd like to follow me. This is the drawing room. Mm. Hey, cool. Yes, I like it. As you can see, this is the dining room.
liked the house, didn't you, Mrs Collins? I think it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Oh, good. And I thought it had most of the things you were looking for, Matt. It's perfect. It couldn't be any better. It is perfect. And I think the price is very attractive. But if there's anything that worries you, I'll be more than happy we'll to... We'll take it. What? I'll buy it. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> you'll probably want to see your solicitor. Ask his advice. No, I've already rung Mr Wattis. He said there are a few things to discuss, but I can tell you now, there won't be any problems. What do you mean, problems? Well, um, I know the initial cost is only a third of your capital, but um, remember that also means you lose a third of your income. And with a house like Moresby Manor, you'll have to pay for gardeners, builders, decorators. There'll be council tax, electricity bills, heating, water rates. You mean I can't afford it? Uh, no, 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 I think you probably can. But we'll have to check the figures. And uh, then there's school. School? What about school? Well, you can't stay where you are, can you? Why not? It's over 40 miles, Matt. You can't travel that far and back every day. But where would I go? There's a local comprehensive. But I've been asking around. Apparently, it's not up to much. So you might have to think about going privately. Unfortunately, there isn't anywhere very close. So you probably have to board. Boarding school? Me? Do you know what my mum just said? What? She said that I might have... Could you open the door for me, please, Matt? Thank you. She said that I might have to go to boarding school. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to spend most of the year away from home. I mean, when am I going to see my family and friends? About as often as you see me, probably. What? Look, I've been working it out. We live here. You're going to live... There. Do you know how long it'd take me to ride over on a Sunday? Four hours. Four? And about half time for a glass of water before I have to come home again. But you could stay. You could stay as long as you like. Every holiday. Yeah, but it won't be the same, though, will it? What is wrong with your mum? What? She's just been crying. Well, people do that, you know, Matt, when their best friends who they've been living next door to all their lives suddenly say they're moving away. It upsets them, you know. Well, it does most people. Claire! Look, you've seen the place. I've just got to buy it. I've got to. Of course you do, Matt. You want to make everything perfect, don't you? Absolutely perfect. Matt. Oh, can I speak to you, Mr. Otis? Of course. Come on in. Well, I did warn you there'd be problems, uh, but I don't think any of them are insuperable. Mum said I might have to go to boarding school. Well, I went to boarding school. I remember there were some people who seemed to enjoy it. And Claire said the browns will fold if Mum can't be brown owl anymore. You do still want to buy this house, don't you, Matt? Yes. Yes, I do. I just don't see how. I suppose that's why I'm here. To ask what you think. Me? Do you think I should buy it? You want my personal opinion? Please. Well, um, since you ask, I should have to say, um, I think buying a house is a very good idea, but I don't think you should buy Moresby Manor, no. No? Matt, did you know your mother got her A-level results yesterday? What? Apparently she did rather well. Oh, yes. Yes, she did. So well, in fact, that she's been offered a place at Nottingham University. Something she's 
always wanted to do but never been able to afford. Yes. Matt, would you like me to tell you what house I think you should buy instead of Moresby Manor? Well? I think you should buy number 27 Calmore Road. But that's where I live now. Yeah. But why would I want to buy the place that I'm already living in? Well, I have to admit that the main advantage would not be to yourself, but to your mother. To Mum? It would solve so many of her problems at a stroke, you see. But I'm sure I don't need to spell that out to someone of your intelligence. I think you'd better spell it out, Mr. Wattis. Mum? In here. Album. This is when we moved in, before you were born. Mum. Took every penny we had. Then the Hardings moved in two days later. We thought we were so lucky. Mum. What? I went to see Mr Wattis this morning. Oh, yes. And I've decided what I'd like. It's not to buy Mortby Manor, but to buy this place instead. He says it would be a good investment, and it would mean you wouldn't have a mortgage, and you'd still be living in Nottingham, so you could go to university and get a good degree. And then you could get a job which you really wanted, and you wouldn't have to work in that pram shop anymore. It's just an idea. I mean, you don't have to or anything. Only, um, I, I don't really want to move anymore. Anyway, when you've decided, if you will, um... Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, wow, this is brilliant, Matt. It was Mr. Watts's idea. He's just had an attic conversion himself. You've got a new computer! That was a present from Mr. Karamura. I've been getting lots of presents recently. Mum got me the piano. Mr. Wattis got me the chair. Oh, and I get a bunch of flowers every Friday from the brownies. I made you a cake. Doesn't make sense, does it? What? I wanted to buy a really big, expensive and comfortable house. But that makes everyone miserable. So... So, I buy the house I'm already living in, which shouldn't change anything at all. Everyone thinks I'm wonderful, they give me all these presents, and I make a profit. You made a profit? It's something to do with not building the new motorway. It means the house is worth more. How much more? Five, ten thousand. But I've still got more money than when I started. You make it sound like a problem, Matt. Well, it doesn't do what you think it does, does it? I mean, you spend money to make things better, and they get worse. So you don't spend money, and things get better. Why? It's no use asking me, Matt. You probably have to ask another millionaire.
Matthew Collins. My name is Kawamura. Interesting letter, Matt. Most interesting. I hope you didn't mind me writing to you, Mr. Kawamura. Only I don't know any other millionaires. You are a millionaire, aren't you? Oh, yes. Millionaire several times. <laughs> Good. You say you have problem with money. Well, not exactly problems. I just don't understand it. Well, what to understand? I like having money, Mr. Karamura. Don't get me wrong, I really do. But I can understand the little things. I like buying books, clothes, videos, bicycles. And it feels good. But having a million pounds, it should feel more than just good, shouldn't it? I have these dreams on how it should feel. But when I go and try and buy it, well, everything goes wrong. And it should be perfect. With a million pounds, you should be able to make it perfect. Want my advice? Forget about the money. Not important. Not important? <laughs> Not having money is sometimes very important. <laughs> Uh, only thing that matters what you want, you know. Well, I'm not sure. I think I do, but then when I try and buy it... I tell you what you want. You want to work. Work? Like when you make the game. But that wasn't work, that was fun. Exactly. Real work, best fun in the world. How many hours does this take you? Well, I don't know. I just kept on with it. And uh, how you feel at the end? Feel? Well... Satisfied. That's how I felt. I felt satisfied. Can't buy a feeling like that, Matt. Not even with a million pounds. It comes from somewhere else. Right work. Uh, different for all of us, Matt. Right work for you is very simple. Is this? Um, I've made some tea if anyone wants it. Goodbye, Mrs. Collins. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Claire. Bye. You write me another game now, yes? I'll try. Good, good. Remember. Right to work, best of all in the world. Different colour, something paler. Okay. That's it, like that. Well, I thought as you were so busy, you might like your supper up here. Thanks, Mum. And his head should be bigger. That's it, like that. What's this then? Matt's had an idea for another game. He's working on his second million. I see. Looks like fun. Yeah, it is. It's the best fun in the world. <laughs> 